Okay, today we're going to be looking at displaying and describing the relationship between two variables. The way to do that is to have a two-way frequency table. Now this is an excellent tool when we examine this type of relationship between two categorical variables. Here we've got an example. Example 1 says at a local shopping centre, 34 females and 23 males were asked which of the two major political parties they prefer. 18 females and 12 males preferred Labour. Display this data in a two-way frequency table. Now as we can see, since there were 34 females and 18 of them preferred Labour, then 16 of those females preferred Liberal. So we can work out that 16 quite easy. The same for the males. There were 23 males. Out of those 23, they tell us that 12 preferred Labour, which means that 11 of them prefer Liberal. And we can put our totals on the side. So Labour, there are 30. Liberal, there's 27. And a total overall of 57. So that's fantastic. But when we look at it, it seems really well. And we think, oh, look, you know, there's more females that prefer Labour and more females that prefer Liberal and less of them that prefer less of the males that prefer Labour and Liberal. But that's not necessarily the case. What we actually need to do is to change it into a percentage table. So here we're going to change it to a percentage table. Now example two, we go, we've made the table that we just saw in example one, we're going to convert that into the percentage frequency table. Now it's already converted here, but this is the way we actually do it. So let's, we're going to aim for the 52.9%. So if we look at that, females, there were 18 females who preferred labour out of 34 females. Now to change something to a percentage, we times by 100. And when we times it by 100, we get 52.9%. We won't need to do the female liberal because we can quickly work it out. 100% is the total, so the other one would have to be 47.1. You can work it out if you want to. So what we will do now is instead of the male labour, we will do the male liberal. So the male liberal, there are 11 males who preferred liberal out of 23 males and again to convert it to a percentage we times by 100 and when we work that one out we end up getting 47.8 percent so there we go if we look at it now we can actually see that this is different now we've done the calculations for the commas we could have done it for the rows but if we go back remember there were 18 female that were labors and 16 that preferred Liberal, and 12 males that preferred Labour, and 11 that preferred Liberal. And we said, look, females were in front for both of them. But when we look at the percentage, it was actually males that were on top for Liberal, 47.8%. So be careful with that. Now we've got to write this in the report. So the report says that this shows that there is almost the same amount of females and male, males who prefer Labour, and also the same amount that prefer Liberal. But if we were to say who was the most, we would still say males prefer Liberal and females prefer Labour.